a typical computer system, the operating system is designed to run directly on top of the hardware and the operating system will be at the highest privilege level so that it can directly access the hardware and the user applications are placed at some low privilege level. But when we use the method of virtualization, we are adding an extra layer between the operating system and the hardware. This extra layer, which is the virtualization layer, is now expected to be at the highest privilege level because it has to manage the resources for the virtual machines. But even now, the guest operating system assumes that it fully owns the hardware or it has direct access to the hardware and hence it may issue some sensitive and privileged instruction. But these sensitive and privileged instructions are expected to be issued from the highest privilege level and this highest privilege level is now occupied by the virtualization layer. Based on how this situation is handled, there are two kinds of virtualization, full virtualization and para-virtualization. One approach used for full virtualization is trap and binary translation approach. Here, we keep the virtualization layer at the highest privilege level and the guest operating system is placed at some comparatively low privilege level but a higher level compared to the user application's privilege level. Now from this privilege level, if guest operating system tries to issue some privileged and sensitive instruction, it will create a trap to the virtualization layer and the virtualization layer translates these instructions to another sequence of instruction and issue it to the hardware. And overall it emulates or creates the same behavior which the guest operating system expects when it runs on the bare hardware directly. This is called trap and binary translation approach and the user level requests are directly issued to the hardware. So the direct execution together with trap and binary translation approach is used to achieve full virtualization. So why it's called full virtualization? Here the operating system is completely abstracted by the virtualization layer. The guest operating system is not modified and the guest operating system is not even aware that the strap and binary translation is done. It thinks that it completely owns the hardware so it issues the privileged and sensitive instruction directly to the hardware and it receives the same behavior which it expects when it runs on the bare hardware directly. But actually some trap and binary translation is done behind. So here the guest operating system is completely unaware that it is running in a virtualized environment. So we do not seek the operating system assist and we are not modifying the operating system for virtualization and hence this virtualization is called full virtualization. In para virtualization, the guest operating system needs to be modified. Here we modify the guest operating system and the sensitive and privileged instructions are replaced with hyper calls to the virtualization layer. The virtualization layer provides such hypercall interfaces or API call interfaces and the sensitive and privileged instructions are replaced with such hypercalls. So here the guest operating system instead of directly trying to communicate with the hardware, it's trying to communicate with the hardware through the virtualization layer. For that we need to modify the guest operating system and the user level requests can be issued directly to the hardware. So the direct execution together with hyper calls is used to achieve para virtualization here. So this cannot be considered as a full virtualization because the operating system is not completely abstracted by the virtualization layer. The guest operating system is modified and hence the operating system is aware that it's running in a virtualized environment.
In other words, we are seeking operating system assist for achieving virtualization. Hence, it is called para-virtualization. So, in para-virtualization, OS is trying to communicate with the hypervisor or the virtualization layer. And in full virtualization, OS is trying to communicate directly with the hardware. And in full virtualization, the strap and binary translation approach make the system slower and lead to low performance compared to para-virtualization.